everybody's favourite part, the pre-rotator, uh, it's now significantly improved. So it now has a bolted hinge. I've just taken down the flex hinge one. Just wasn't durable enough long term. So that's much better. I don't know how well this is going to show up on the video, but the, I guess, motor mount, it's been redesigned so it can now be printed flat on what's the top face there. And that particular one, it's now got a slot for adjustment of the gear spacing. I've left the ones with the hole up and a couple of different spacing options because I do feel the holes better but you know the slot seems to work quite well and it gives you a really good range of adjustment so yeah that should hopefully eliminate any aligning, alignment issues quick note about pinions yes they are disposable don't expect them to last indefinitely but you shouldn't be shredding them constantly well I did when I was developing this Two things that'll shred the pinion is not enough engagement of the servo, so the gears skip. The other thing that'll tend to wear it out quickly is actually too much, as in as the servo's pushing it into the gear with too much force, that seems to accelerate the wear. It's a bit of a balancing act. I have, I mean, you can tell this one's uh, seen better days. I have tried these in ABS, which definitely lasts better. So that's an idea. I mean, you don't have to, um, you know, PLA pinion lasts reasonably well, but I'm not going to claim it's a hard-wearing part. It isn't. One other change, these pivots with bearings in them. I mean, it did fly with just the plain, you know, bushing with the plastic, but when I took that apart, I found it had become very tight and binded up. So those are, what I say, 4x13x5 by by bearings. I'll put it on the screen. Uh, I'm still revising these parts slightly. Uh, it might be a little bit different when it's actually uploaded, but you get the idea. Certainly significantly less friction. It can only be good for the servos. Slight change, I say changes to the landing gear. I've had trouble with the thing veering off on takeoff, which, you know, is down to trim, maybe not enough rotor speed, but something that does help is actually towing in the landing gear. I don't know, it's probably not particularly visible on the camera, but, you know, it's actually angled inwards with respect to the forwards direction, which is stabilising. It adds a little bit of drag as well, so... You know, it's up to you, but I'll put the mounts up with towing. I think it's about three or four degrees or something like that. And the wheels, uh, I'll leave the old ones up, but these were just, uh, well, choose between. They're quite light, they look cool, and they give you a little bit of suspension. Just uh, a little bit of executioning on those uh, not so great landings. And obviously they'll break if you uh, go far enough, but slightly better, slightly better. Four millimeter bolt for that, so yeah, three's just not enough for this weight of model. So here's a look at the the smaller variant with a pusher motor. Disclaimer up front: this is still in development. It has flown and it's okay. but not great. The parts will go up, um, but I'm not in a great position to troubleshoot it right now. I'm still tweaking a few things. It obviously much smaller, lighter. Um, it's basically just scaled down. It's the same pivot arrangement. 
and obviously the pre-rotator on this is just, sorry I don't have it powered up but I'm sure you get the idea. The only limitation is that locks your rotor a bit forward, whereas the other one, because it's mounted on the shaft, you know, you can still move the rotor with the pre-rotator on. This one not so much, but hey, it works. That pinion has been done in ABS, and again, the engagement's not perfect, but it's much lower loads on this one, I don't really think you'll have a problem. I'll have to perhaps revise this slightly. But you can see how it goes together, it's not overwhelmingly complicated. The way the blade angle's set here, there's no ramps built into the hub. The hub plate, there's a separate wedge which clamps down, it'll make sense when you see the, the parts. These blades were a bit of a pain to print on a P1S. But basically I used the solid model and then printed with, you know, 0% infill on a single wall uh, using, I want to say arachne walls, I'll put the details up and I also had some issues with the, the walls not joining together properly down the kind of spar area so I had to increase temperature flow, just print a little bit slower so the servo arrangement, scaled down version of the other one, um, pretty simple. The pusher motor mount is uh, slightly awkward. Uh, it's actually designed so there's some sort of airflow through here because that motor was getting mighty hot. Um, again, I might try lower KV, bigger prop. Experimental, you know the deal. Tail arrangement's probably going to change. I might try and bring that servo forward. I might try... I'm considering printing this entire thing, uh, or at least perhaps more of it. Uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see about that. Other than that, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Again, does fly, just not quite there yet. 